quick recap of some of the random objects that we've looked at. We've been using these to control uh, playback of a playlist object. In this case, we have eight random samples. So we're going to use the random object with an argument of eight. This is going to generate, every time it receives a bang, it's going to generate a random number uh, between zero and seven. Um, this is a little bit counterintuitive, but essentially it generates eight random numbers, but it starts counting from zero. Now, if you remember, uh, this is a little problem because the playlist object won't do anything if it receives the integer zero because there is no zeroth uh, sample in the playlist object. Um, so if we turn this on, every eight steps more or less, or every time this gets a, a zero, there's going to be a silence or a rest. And to avoid this, all we need to do is add a one to these numbers that are generated. This is going to be a common issue in max. Uh, some objects begin counting at zero, others begin counting at one. And you have to just be aware that occasionally this can cause some problems. Right? We've just fixed that. Now, uh, we looked quickly in class at um, another object called urn. And the urn object is similar to random, but it will um, generate random numbers without duplicates. So in this case, it will generate 10 random numbers, again, starting at zero. So if, once I click this through this 10 times, it will stop generating random numbers. OK. Um, and instead, it will send a bang out of its right outlet that indicates all the numbers have been generated. In order for it to continue to generate random numbers without duplicates, we have to send it a clear message into the left inlet. And then it'll cycle through again. All right. This is a little bit tedious, of course. You don't want to be clicking earn, in this case, every eight steps. Um, so, and just to demonstrate, of course, this will only play the eight samples and then it will stop. Right? But the metro is still sending bangs. The problem is they're just going out of the right uh, outlet of urn. So one possible solution would be to create a clear message that gets uh, triggered from the right outlet. We send this to the left inlet of urn. It has to be the left inlet. Now. Notice how we have a similar problem that we had with random, right? Uh, but the cause of this problem is very different. Right now, we're hearing the eight samples played, and then we hear one silence. The reason we have that one silence is because one of these bangs, the ninth bang, is being used to clear the urn. And then it starts over again. So if you want to avoid this rest, we're going to use a trigger object. And the shorthand for a trigger object is T. And this will send one input to multiple places. I recommend you take a close look at the help file for trigger, because it has many different arguments. Um, but basically, we're going to send, we're going to receive one bang and send two bangs. Keeping in order the, um, that max always works from right to left, we're going to have the one bang from the right outlet of urn go into trigger, which will then result in two bangs. This will be the first one, and this will be the second one. And first, what I want to do is clear the urn. So this bang will clear, just like we did earlier. And then the second bang will then trigger. Now, these happen really fast, one after the other. And they're all within an almost imperceptible time span of this one single bang being sent out of the right outlet of urn. The result here is now a continuous uh, randomization of the samples. 
And the only time you might get two samples repeated in a row is if the eighth random number is the same as the first random number of the next repetition after it's been cleared. A little hard to understand, but I would encourage you to really dig into this logic so that you you um, you get what's going on here. Um, now, a slightly more advanced way to generate random numbers, something that we're going to be looking at a little bit later, is to use the snapshot object. Now, what this does is it converts a signal to numbers. Keep in mind the difference between signals and numbers. Signals work at the sampling rate. Numbers work uh, at a much slower rate. Um, and snapshot is going to be expecting an argument. You can, of course, always open the help file to see what's going on. Um, but in this case, we have a sine wave with a frequency of 10. Uh, and in this case, a snapshot of 740. What this means is every 740 milliseconds, this is taking a snapshot of this signal, literally uh, like a little photograph of the signal, and then it's outputting it. Okay, so if we wanted to generate random numbers, we could say, let's say, snapshot 500. Every 500 milliseconds, it'll take a snapshot of a, sing of a signal, and that signal can be noise. Noise is a highly randomized uh, sort of uh, signal generator. And if we were to put a float underneath here, you can see that the range is always between negative 1 and 1, and it varies quite a bit. Okay, this is kind of an interesting way to, to generate randomness using a signal. And now let's say we want to use that in a similar fashion that we've used it here. Uh, what we want to do is scale between negative 1 and 1. Notice how I'm using floats here uh, because the data that we're dealing with are floating point numbers or decimal points. And we want to scale that, let's say, between 1 and 8, which, assuming we'll just be using the same playlist object. Okay. Um, we'll attach the outlet of snapshot into the scale object. And in this case, it will generate random integers. might not sound very different uh, from random, but it's essentially getting a similar result with a very different technique. Um, and this might come in handy if we need uh, more randomization. Okay, In this case, we're only dealing with eight numbers, so it's not a big deal. But if we were dealing with thousands or tens of thousands of numbers, uh, this would be an effective way of doing so. Anyway, uh, just a couple ways to generate some randomness to control the playlist object.